All right, here's the deal, guys. We are out on the Potomac River, launching from a very popular spot, off to do some hopefully awesome fishing today. They got a tournament going on down here. I think it's American Bass Anglers. I uh, saw so a lot of boats. I pulled up, this, I probably saw about 50 plus boats in the launch area, at least the parking lot. Not sure if they're all part of this tournament, but a lot of big bass boats. Potomac River is pretty big, but rolling with a bunch of people. We'll see what happens today. But yeah, excited to be out here on the Potomac River, trying to get some launches. Good luck today. You too, we are already lucky. <laughs> That's right. Can we get better from here? That's right, I like that. All right, here we go, guys. Launching out of Smallwood State Park and got plenty of boats all around. There's the Rona. Beauty, let's go. All right, first cast in the books. Damn, a big fish just jumped right there. Let me, let me start talking first, jeez. That's probably a carp, but I will throw over there just for good measure, because that's the right thing to do. Let's see if we can figure out what that was. Pretty sure that was a carp. Not that I'm out to catch a carp today, but you know, catch is a catch, what can I say? I'm starting off not too far from the boat ramp. I wanted to fish the other side of this little point right here, but there were so many boats over there. I figured that place has been beat up all morning. It is 7.40. Hopefully we can get on something sooner than later. Last time I fished was a five plus hour grind before I got on my first fish and then hooked up with five in less than an hour. So. That's how it goes. That's why we fish this species. Largemouth bass, one of the toughest species to catch. But that's what makes it that much worth it. So I'm dealing with 62 degree water temps. Winds today are going to be pretty good. 5, 10 mile per hour winds. But I've got clear blue skies. As you can see, all around. That's pretty much the deal for the day. So we'll see what effect that has on the fishing. Got about 50 degree air temps. Going to get up to 85, mid 80s today. So it's going to be one extreme to the other. And our weather pattern these days are actually there's no pattern. That's that's the problem. That thing was tugging. Whoo, yo, that got my heart beating. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was. Let me slow down my retrieve. I was retrieving a little bit too fast. I don't even have my motor in the water. I'm just drifting. Guys, I lied to you not. I was reeling that fish in and he was about to pull drag as I'm reeling. I don't know what that was, and it didn't feel like a catfish. I had it on for about three, four seconds. Oh man, that was like my third cast down here. I moved downstream a little bit. So let me just try this pocket. This is where the current in the wind is, head, is blowing. All right, so we got some fish down here. A couple popped up on the graph. So I think I'm in a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead and get the crusher out. Don't have a lot of wind today, but I do have current and I've got murky water. So I think the chatterbait will do quite well. That one. Yeah, he's pulling. Another nice one. Another nice one. Oh my God. What's this, a catfish? Yep, got a cat. Big cat. My biggest by far right here. Uh, this is not what I want. Not what I want. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. First fish of the day. Hopefully that first one wasn't a cat, but it might have been. It wasn't on long enough for me to find out. All right, got this cat right here, guys. <laughs> Not while we're out, but first fish is in the boat. All right. Yeah. Slimy. Look at all that snot on my line. Ew. 
all the way down to the bait. Tell you guys, when you lift up your rod tip, set that hook and feel that kind of weight, you only pray that that's a bass. That would have been a monster bass. So I turned around and started casting out this shallow area. That's where I picked that one up at. Right behind me is a little slight drop off. Not a big one, but enough to have some kind of variation to fish. I was mostly targeting that and that's where the initial bite was for the fish that I lost. right next to that rock right next to that rock oh it's fighting like a bass fighting like a bass oh yeah nice nice let me get him keep the pressure on him all right let's get him in the boat get him in the boat Woo! yeah buddy yeah buddy Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop. Right next to some rocks right over there. One of those sticking up and came off of it. First bass in the books for the day. Not a big one, but got one. All right, let's see if we can put something together. So I'm fishing this rocky bank and I've got these big boulders or rocks or whatever. I've never fished this area before, but figured there's gotta be something hanging out in here. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh yes, come on baby. He's swimming towards me. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Come on baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh yes. Just pulled up to a new spot, literally first cast. Man, woo, yeah, yeah. Choke the chatterbait. Picture perfect, picture perfect. Got a little lay down over there. I cast it out away from it, but close enough. Oh my goodness. Here you go, ladies and gents. Beautiful fish, look at the colors, nice and green. Oh man, I wanted to take a picture of this guy. Not for the size, but just for the sheer beauty nice little two pounder right here 205 so i think the first one was a two also man beautiful fish i, I just want to hold this guy a little bit longer he looks perfect from head to toe all right i won't keep you get back to doing whatever you're doing thank you let's get back in there see if we can grab another one Got him. Man. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Switched over to a jig. Oh, look at that hook set right in the mouth, in the gizzard. Whew. Let's go. Guys, I targeted that little stick right there, sticking up out the water. Little guy, but still a bass. Number four in the boat, black and blue. Strike King, swim jig. Little guy. Thank you, buddy. I absolutely love that jig. Bite, you know, setting a hook on a jig is different from any other bait. I mean, you, you can go to town on that thing. That's one of those casting it in the right place because there's a lot of muck down there still. And my jig was coming back kind of dirty. I said, let me just get a few more in there. It was right off the back side of that. I took my time on that one because I felt it and just left it there. And then booyah. Whoa, something big just went down. I don't know if that was a catfish or what, but man, right at my foot. Probably came up and looked at me and I wasn't even paying attention. Too busy looking at the bank. I'm thinking something should be back here in this pocket. Got incoming tides, got some laydowns, got a jig in my hand. Got some grass. I mean, that looks juicy for snakehead. Yeah, guys, let's pull one out of here. Got 
got something. Is it a snake head? Let's see. Did I call it, guys? Did I call it? Oh, it was a snake head. Oh, I called it. Horrible hook set. Caught him right over there. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh, I wish I got him in the boat. I got a glimpse of his head. Almost had him, almost had him. I mean, that just looks like snake head kingdom right there. Didn't get him in the boat. I'm gonna check. Oh, what is that? All right, shoot, back here might be loaded. Let me get my jig back in. I am tempted to tie on a frog. I haven't on any top order yet this season. Almost two o'clock. Not when I typically throw top water, but I don't know. That might be the only thing I can really keep clean and keep it in the strike zone long enough for a fish to take it. I went ahead, tied on a frog. I can't leave here without trying it. May not be the ideal situation for a frog, but yeah, man, I know that's a snakehead over there. I know that is. Man, these guys are blowing up all around me. I go left, they go right. I go right, they go left. Oh, something snapped at it. <laughs> I missed it. Oh my gosh, I'm tangled up. Snakehead just blew up out on my frog. Guys, we're trying to make it happen. I saw a blow up right over there and I cast it right into it. They're actually deep inside the grass. So I think that's where I need to be aiming. Look. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he bit off my line. Wait. Oh no, he, my frog is still there. I don't know why this fish cannot see my bait. He missed it twice. Let's go over here. I'll get you in the open. Come to the open. Come on out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big old snake head over there. I was just tossing. I was just on my way out of this cove and said, let me toss over there. All right, here we go. That's exactly where he blew up. Come on. Just can't seem to get these guys to commit. I don't know if they're just trying to like warn off anything that's in their area or are they trying to eat? It's really hard to tell. Seems like they're just trying to scare off any kind of fish that's coming in their territory. I don't know. Are there snakehead beds down there? I just can't see them. Oh, well guys, I lost that round. I tried for about an hour back there. I got blow ups all around. Hooked up one right in the middle. That one came off and that little corner right there had a lot of activity. He swiped at it three times, couldn't get it. So again, I don't know if they're just swiping at it, trying to warn off fish. I, I just don't see how, I, I got like four missed strikes and that's odd, two different color frogs. But man, I, I gave it my all. It was still fun to try to get them in the boat, but maybe next time. I marked that spot, I'll be back. I'll be back for that. Was not expecting to stay back there that long, but glad I did. Discovered something new. I'll be back to that spot, marked it on my graph. Wanna poke around a little bit more probably hit up some deeper water you won um, yeah mm -hmm. it's hard to walk away from it but you know how that goes anyway guys let's stay on them many unbearable hours later all right made it all the way back to the boat ramp see if i can get one more fish before i go Oh, got my last fish of the day, guys. Pack at the boat ramp. This is how we end it. This is how we end it. Uh, yeah. Let's get him in the boat. Let's get him in the boat. Let's get him in the boat. There we go. A lot of, this is about a pound three quarters. They're all about the same size for me today. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, because you're sending me home the right way. My last fish was at least four plus hours ago. And I said, you know what? I know this flat area is nice and grassy. It's got to hold up some fish. 
and I'm basically just blind casting around, fan casting all around the boat. It's consistently about three and a half feet of water all the way over there. And I said, all right, one of these casts has got to land a bass. And there it is right there. You know, you always got to get that last fish before you go home. Thank you, bud. Oh, 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 another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Oh, this one's bigger. Oh, this one's pulling drag. Oh, I got it. I got one here, guys. Ah, this is a big, big, big catfish. Bigger than the one I caught earlier today. <laughs> Look at that huge, huge catfish. I thought you were a bass, man. I thought you were a bass. Can you just get off my hook? Can you just let go, please? I don't even know if he can fit in my net. Big, big belly. Look at this guy. Huge. All right, we're gonna let this, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. We're gonna let this guy go. Big, fat belly, about to start pooping. All right, be gone. Be gone, big guy, get off. Man, he's, <laughs> it's like a cannonball release. All right. That was an awesome way to finish the day because the middle of the day was filled with absolutely nothing. I didn't catch any fish in the middle from morning hours till about five o'clock. I would say a good four to five hours of just casting and I tried a bunch of things, threw a million baits. I threw practically all my rods I have on the boat and I have so many rods on the boat, I can't even count them. But yeah, I had a great time out here on the Potomac River. If you wanna see more Potomac River fishing, leave me a like on this video and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell. We appreciate each and every one of you supporting the channel. We built a nice community base of anglers and boat builders, the works. It's great to have you guys along, watching our videos, following our content. Don't forget all our information is down below. If you're interested, to get your boat built out if you want to send us stuff our address is there our email address is there also got all of our affiliate links in the description below tb nation amped outdoors with our discount code so you can get a discount on your purchases on either site anyway guys i can't wait to get back out on the potomac river there's so much water out here to figure out uh, today i spent a lot of time just figuring out new places to fish and that contributed to some of the lull but in the end it's always good to find new areas of fish hope you guys enjoyed this video see you on the next one Oh, 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 oh,